I want to ask you about all these different uh, services that are provided by the cloud. So, for example, somebody decides to say, yeah, I want to learn about uh, AWS offerings or uh, Azure offerings. Like, if you go to their website, there are so many services, so a lot of things. It's like you get that same, you know, choice paralysis all over again. It's like, where do I start? Absolutely. Uh, yeah. One good way to start is, of course, to check out your Udemy course, uh, where you have, I think, you know, you have an AWS course and an Azure course as well. So your course are barred. Mm -hmm. What would be your advice for somebody who wants to start out on their cloud journey? Absolutely. I think uh, uh, one thing, as you said, is it's vast. There are so many services and these services are increasing every day that being a master at everything is impossible. So it's very, very important to choose the services based on what you're doing. If I'm doing, let's say, programming, and if let's say I'm developing REST API, then I would rather focus on the compute part of the services. Like for example, I would go to AWS and look at compute. Like what are the options that are available? How can I deploy my application? Let's say I built a Spring Boot application. How do I deploy that Spring Boot application or Python application or Node application to the cloud? So that's where I would initially start. The other part which might be interesting to programmers is databases, right? I will try and focus on the databases aspects. Like probably I'll try and see, okay, what are the transactional databases which are present in the cloud? And what are the uh, like relational ones and what, the, what are the NoSQL ones? So that's a good place to start to understand the important concepts, right? As you start doing this, you will understand that, okay, networking is important, security is important. So these are the two things which are really different from doing something on your local machine versus doing it in the cloud, right? So I think that's the best place to start. Whatever you're doing, if you're doing data engineering, right? So if you're good at doing data engineering, go and explore the data engineering services in a specific cloud and start learning the, how to do data engineering in the cloud. That gives you a great starting point because uh, the step up is not so big because you're just focusing on what you are doing in your local machine or in your data center and you're shifting it to the cloud. So that's where I would recommend a lot of people to start, like start playing with whatever you have in the cloud. And yeah, as a next step, probably like I would, like once you have sufficient experience, once you know how your thing works in the cloud, then you have good experience and you understand what a cloud is. Right? Then you can make choices on what you want to learn next. Right, Depending on where your enterprise is heading, that's uh, like uh, you can choose which ones to focus on. But as with anything, it's important to have a focused approach. It's, it, it's not going to work if I try to memorize a 50 services name and clear an exam. Right, That's not going to give me a lot of value. The thing which gives you a lot of value is what you are able to do with the tool or what like the cloud is just like a tool, right? So what are you able to do on the cloud? So yeah, that's, that's the most important thing I would focus on. Yeah, I don't think uh, many people in the whole world know about all these uh, services that either AWS or Azure or GCP offers. There's just way too many because it's it's exactly. meant for different demographics, right? So you just, you know, your advice makes perfect sense. Look at the services which you can utilize and then start from there.